Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Two weeks in a row, two four day weeks. That's good. For those of you that are self-employed, hands up. Who don't really have bank holidays, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Either way, I hope you're having a lovely week so far and a lovely day. Today on the agenda, I'm just getting ready for the day actually. I'm just gonna pop on a bit of makeup. We have some friends coming over this afternoon. So I might, um, we might even go for a bit of a walk with them as well. But apart from that, we are um, having a bit of a slower morning. I think what I might do this morning is well, I obviously need to pop out to pick up some of the ingredients. We're cooking, so we need to go and get some food anyway. But I thought I could head out to Poundland because I've seen, like ahead of Easter, I've seen that they've got some really gorgeous new like home decor bits in and like a new, almost like a whole new home range. So it's been a while. I kind of got out of the habit of going to Poundland because I felt like um, it was quite samey. However, having a look at, had a look at their socials and seeing some of their new bits that they've got in, I thought, yeah, let's pop out there. It's next to Home Bargains as well, so I can pop in. And that's my morning into my afternoon. And you guys can join me for the day. I'm gonna carry on getting ready, finish off putting on some makeup, just like light makeup today. And uh, I think I will change actually. I put this on this morning first thing, but um, it's sunny. So I feel like I don't need like a big walking dog coat on. I might be able to get away with like a bit of a nicer coat. My walking boots because it's still muddy everywhere, isn't it? Let's face it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog. Be sure to uh, grab yourself a nice cozy drink and get comfy. Is anyone on the iced lattes yet? I feel like when we have these warmer days, it's just, it's more enticing, isn't it? To get an iced drink or are you always a hot drink or are you always an iced drink? Let me know what, what it is you're drinking. But for now, I'm gonna carry on getting ready and I will catch up with you guys when we get to the land as Mr. Carrington says, the land where everything used to be a pound. It's been you all along But I've been too caught up to see it, baby We can have it all if I just could get myself together I'm not wasting another minute If it goes up in flames, I'll take the pain If I never try to get it I can just forget it I'm done playing this mound that I've just come back to. Hold on, let me find somewhere to pop you. Yes, I am back home after the most successful Poundland trip I have ever done. Their whole new homeware range, incredible. We have lots to share with you later, but we're gonna head out and, well, we're gonna get ready in just a sec, head out to meet our friends for a nice walk in the sunshine. It's crossed its days. Tom's already put on a short rib of beef for like a pasta dish, she's gonna make some pasta as well. In fact, I think he's doing that now, making the actual pasta from scratch. So we're gonna have that later after the walk, after we get back from that, and then I will show you the Poundland bits. But I thought I would just, before I get ready and head out, show you a couple of PR bits that have arrived today and yesterday, actually. One of these parcels came yesterday. But um, yeah, so from YSL, snazzy bag, they sent over these new, well, I'm saying new, I don't know if, are they new? Let's have a look. The YSL Love Shine. Yeah, introducing their new viral lip franchise, YSL Love Shine. Yeah, they look fab. Obviously, they're 
ambassador Dua Lipa. They sent over a selection of shades, but I had a quick look and I think, well, this one's a bit different because this is their candy lip glaze. I have tried this one. It was quite dark for me. It's very sort of balmy, glossy, beautiful finish. There is a definitely pigmentation and it's not that sheer. So this one is the YSL Love Shine. This one's in Nude Lavellier. Lavellier number 44 see how the color definitely does show up but it's also got a real nice glossy texture to it really really pretty number 150 nude lingerie a bit more of a brownie as opposed to the pinky i think yeah i think the other one's my favorite but they are quite dark so i might even go and see if they've got some lighter shades because the other ones that they sent me are even darker pretty powerful collection bobby brown and kitchery this is in support of smartworks charity who you guys might know from my channel having been to a couple of events and worked with them in the past cute little pink summery bag zip up bag and then inside ooh, a selection of products firstly oh i've not seen a smaller size like this but this is their vitamin enriched face base absolutely love using that hot rouge they call it this one is in the shade pale pink yeah a nice kind of balmy texture that you can use for both your lips and cheeks a couple of other things their crushed oil infused gloss in bare sparkle a bit of this one on top of what i'm already wearing oh that's gorgeous <gasps> how nice is that shade that's like my ideal kind of summery shade yeah, very sheer. Really nice balmy again. Texture, it's not sticky. So lastly, one of my absolute favourite products that Bobbi Brown do, and that is one of their long wear cream shadow sticks. I have quite a few shades of this. I do actually already have this shade, Smoky Quartz, which is a multi-chrome. I'm not going to swatch it just in case um i maybe give it away to someone instead. Um, but it's a really pretty, I'll show you what these look like see they're like a little kind of thick crayon which you can just use to blend on top of your eyelids also got sent a box from tan lux i love tan lux products and i was just thinking actually i wouldn't mind getting one of their gradual tans oh my goodness got like landscapers on like finishing and sorting the drive and ahead of like the garden stuff that's going to be going on i'll show you in my next vlog what it's looking like out there but it's hectic so yeah they're just prepping for that if you can hear them but anyway yeah i was just thinking i could do with one of these i've used these in the past the gradual tan from tan lux and it's a really nice moisturizer to be used or to use well all year round i was going to say from now like leading into summer months where you're exposing a bit more skin lovely formula really like hydrating if i'm fake tanning i'll go in with a mousse and then use this like in between and then for my face i go in with the face drops from tan lux but i'm going to try this one out because this is called the super glow so this one has hyaluronic serum within it and it is a gradual self tan drops still so yeah this is what it looks like it's a serum that you can incorporate within your beauty routine last but not least we've got little pixie ones oh how gorgeous is this box you guys know how much i love the glow tonic from pixie so they have very kindly sent over their new antioxidant tonic so i'm going to give this one a try next a fusion of skin loving nordic superfood berries in a luxurious multi-use scent essence toner and with it we've got a couple of reusable cotton pads so that's all the pr bits i want to share with you let's head out for a walk now and i'll see you guys for the panland haul when we get back getting in the way Buffy. <laughs> it's so exciting. 
Is this the best bound mandrel ever? Yes. It's the best one I've ever done anyway. So our friends have just left and I thought I would close off this vlog with the Poundland haul. However, I say close it off, there's quite a bit to show you. So it might even be a big chunk of this vlog. So if you haven't already, maybe now is the time to grab a coffee. Or if you've already had one, go top it up, go grab another cuppa, grab some biscuits and snacks and let's show you all the Poundland bits. Honestly guys, their new Poundland range, home range, whatever, whatever I'm trying to say, incredible. So I, I did go all out. I also got a couple of bits from Home Bargains, which I'll show you afterwards, but let's just start with, start with the chunkier items first. So this gorgeous throw I thought would be perfect in the summer, either outdoors, just as a little blanket, even on the sofa, on a bed, wherever. It was £14. It's got a lovely little, like, cream and white herringbone uh, pattern to it. I'm going to try and whiz through these because there's honestly quite a bit to share you. Share you. Show you. Share with you. And then, another chunky item. Weighty as well. They do these glass cake stands for £12. I'll get it out so you can see it. Not that I need another cake stand, but I did think for spring... Spring and summer. Let's prolong it for at least six months of the year because the base of it is beautiful. It's got this floral design and a scalloped edging and this with the glass cloche on top, I just feel like, oh God, it's waiting. Yeah, gorgeous, right? To go with it, a little matching butter dish again for spring, summer. I like just to have out on the side in the pantry. Again, the base is very similar with the little floral design and scalloped edging. We also have a couple of like dupes, very white company inspired Neptune style things. So firstly, these mats, I got three of these. They're really chunky and I thought again, outdoor dining, or summer barbecues along the table to have like hot plates on these. Two pound fifty each. And look how chunky and nice and natural looking they are. Honestly love those. And then they also had some thinner ones. Again, you could be used as placemats, as even in the centre of the table, you've got a big hurricane vase or something to have it stood on one of these. So I got this colour to show you. Uh, these come in a pack of two for £2.50. Then I also got this colour that they've got. And again, I thought for centre of the table or as placemats just for Tom and I with it being just the two. Again, £2.50. Then I got this as well. This reminds me of the rug that we've got at our back door. And when that one's in the wash, I thought it'd be quite handy to have a spare one. I just like to have one for muddy paws walking in. I usually get the towel ready, but just in case I don't, it just... It's something like a kind of doormat without it being an actual doormat. You could even pop these like in front of the sink or in a pantry or something. And these are only three pounds. Speaking of like dupes again, these kind of style tissue box covers I feel like you see in Neptune and White Company. Straw seagrass material, um, longer shaped one with the little elasticated things here that you pop a tissue box within there. Have that sat on a side. Um, that one was four pounds and then this one was only three pounds and it's a square shaped one a bit more like the white company ones that they do like a ceramic one um i think they do like a wicker one a different one but yeah this one is they have them in white and black and they're kind of like a faux leather so yeah they've just got the strap on the bottom to keep the tissue box within there and then the little hole at the top to get your tissues out of i also got this this one was eight pounds and it's on like a wooden a bamboo wooden board square board with four little glass containers that you can have like dips and sauces in this bit in the middle is just cardboard so you remove that and literally just have the four dishes got a few dip bowls but these ones are quite big so i'm thinking sort of guacamole hummus that kind of thing if you've got um chips and dip wow my american or chips and dip they also have i don't know if every poundland has this but collection makeup they had collection at R1, so I've stocked up on another one of my faves, the Lasting Perfection Concealer. I get the shade number two, Porcelain. And then again, kind of like White Company style bud vase that they have. Well, they've got a couple similar to this on the White Company, but it's just essentially a crackled, glazed, can you see the texture there? Um, little bud vase that again for spring and summer having flowers around the house I love this one's only £2.50 and then I got some incense they had a few different scents but I picked up this one at £1 in white white sage how beautiful is this table runner it's only 150 so for our dining table it's 
Pro it's not long enough to go down the length, but you could do this down the middle, you could do it on like a smaller console table, coffee table, wherever, or you could use the fabric at three pounds, such a pretty fabric, you could make your own little kind of fold it over in half, sew the edges, stuff it and have like a little bolster cushion for on your bed, how nice would that be? But yeah, I just saw this pattern, this print and I thought I can't leave this, it's such a beautiful kind of Neptune style pattern, Poundland. This is from Poundland, can you believe it? Um, I'm actually thinking the more I look at it that that would be quite nice to have it as a little bolster cushion. And then I also picked up again, lots of like kitchen bits, a Lazy Susan, just plain wooden, so nice and simple. This one was six pounds. Then look at this little potted plant at four pounds. Once we've fluffed it out a bit, I feel like thought I would get this to go inside this pot, which I picked up at five pounds. They've got these in a bigger size as well. It's kind of got like a, almost speckled, distressed looking finish. I thought it would sit in there quite nicely on a shelf somewhere. I did pick up a spring mug. They had a few that I was tempted for and I thought, no, your mug collection's big enough, okay? So I thought I would just get the one. They had this in two different colors, but I went for this sage green color. And I just loved how simple it is. Is that not just like the perfect spring mug? If you like neutral decor and you don't like the bold, colors for spring and summer this one was two pound fifty i also saw this vase which kind of same theme for spring and summer i thought this was lovely it's a very simple shape to it nice cylinder but it's got again embossed on it these flowers you can even pop some little stems and have hanging um decorations for more for easter which obviously it's Easter today for you guys. I haven't even said it, happy Easter. I hope you're all having a lovely day and have had some lovely plans over this bank holiday weekend. I also got this little wooden pot. It comes with, it's three pounds, and it comes with the lid that kind of, it's a magnetic closure, but it slides around. So yeah, just a very simple little wooden pot. Then I also picked up these uh, from the Pep & Co fashion, a size six and a half at five pounds, just a perfect little kind of slightly cushioned base. So they're not too stiff. They're quite flexy and bendable. They feel a little bit cheap, but I do feel like once they're on your feet on a summer holiday, just walking down the beach or something, I just like the linen. I feel like it's not going to rub, which is perfect. Again, kind of white company style with this wrapping paper. This is their Celebrate gift wrap. It's a good any occasion type wrapping paper. And they've got the Celebrate one from the white company. Does It, it doesn't say Celebrate, does it? It's like little wine um, champagne coupes on it, I think. Sorry, this lighting is really... I know with it being Easter today, we'll be a bit late to be buying these, but they have already been reduced, a lot of their Easter things. So if you wanna pick them up for next year, great idea for grabbing your bargains. So full price, I'll tell you the full price of these. One pound for this bag of white speckled Easter eggs, good for styling or tablescapes, whatever. Again, one pound. These are little, you get a pack of straw with all these different beige and white speckled eggs again. A couple of feathers in there as well. Also could be good for if you're making your own Easter wreath. And then as well as the smaller eggs, they've also got the larger ones. These ones have little hanging ribbons on if you did want to pop a couple of stems in a vase and have them hanging. Again, white company dupe. They're just like my little white company ones that I've got that I bought in a set last year I think I got them at £1.25. We've got these nasty little white and sage green eggs in. I picked this up to show you as a bit of a Neptune dupe because they do their ceramic birds. I can't remember what they call. I'll try and leave them on screen if I can find them but they are um, a lot more expensive than this little friend here that I picked up at £2. I've got a reusable plastic container. This one was £1.25. A little mini pot at 80p. Again, I thought for styling could pop like a mini succulent in there or use it as a little pen holder or something. I've got some paper napkins. Stock up for, I know it's like Easter for you guys already, but stock up for our little glass Easter egg. I'll pop this straight in my baking drawer, but I thought it'd be great to have to hand a little cake decorating set at just £1.25. Honey and almond foot pack. Yeah, I'm actually going for a pedicure soon. And it's been a long time since I've had a pedicure. Anyway, I also got some, some metallic candles. A pack of 20 sticks for a re-diffuser refill. Easter chocolate for our Easter bowl. Some mini bunnies, the white chocolate ones. 
are my favorite. I also got some packing bags. We always like to have these uh, just hand. And then I also picked up this. I thought this was lovely. But this one is Rose and Jasmine diffuser. And I honestly bought this because of the color. I just thought that would look really nice in our downstairs loo. I also got this gift bag, which I've got a friend's birthday present for. And this one was one pound. Last but not least, one of these frames. Now I really like these still need to go up, but the walnut wood, the dark wood, it's just a very simple line drawing of some flowers again. So again, good seasonal piece. So that's everything that I got from Poundland. And just a couple of things from Home Bargain, literally just within these baskets. So this basket was, uh, how much was this? Oh, it doesn't say, that's annoying. I'm pretty sure from memory, I wanna say about seven pounds. You've got the smaller one in there as well. Some seed mix for in the garden for the bird feeder. Some wipes to throw in the car for the dog and also some um, treats for him. Popping peanut butter flavor bites. Naturally wheat-free treats are made with natural flavors and enriched with extra vitamins and minerals. And then I decided to get the new fragrance from the latest sort of release um, from Lenore with Mrs. Hinch. This one is the best kind of spring summer scent that she's done so far. It's called Vacay Vibes Edition and it's Orange Blossom and Coastal Cypress. So a bit of bloom in there, a bit of floral, but it's actually quite citrusy with that orange blossom. I mean, orange blossom, you guys know, I went on and on about it in my uh, Seville vlog, how nice the orange trees smell from the little flowers, which look just like this. So citrusy, zesty scents in summer are definitely my go-to. That is everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. Do let me know by giving me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video, which I will definitely be including some garden updates. Stay tuned for that. Have a lovely rest of your Easter Sunday and Monday bank holiday. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye guys.